Oh my god. <laughs> Where did we come from? We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Adobe Live. We just got here, clearly. <laughs> Teleported here. Teleported from who knows where. The uh, front cover of the magazine. Just. Yes, yes. <laughs> we're at, but we're here now. We're with you. I'm your host, Jasmine, and it is day two of our stream with Miss Shanti Sparrow. How are you? <laughs> I'm really good. Happy to be here again. How'd you like our vacation? It was pretty, it was cool. We went a long, long way. Parallel right? universes, I think. Yeah. yeah, it was great. We saw the future. So <laughs> if you have any questions, we'll, we'll let you guys know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so we're day two. Let's see who's with us today. Hey, Dean. <laughs> hey, Sam. How's it going? <laughs> like, no one noticed our trick. <gasps> like, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Where are all of our people? <laughs> Well, let's do some housekeeping before we get into it. We have a crazy busy day. Um, if you missed us yesterday, you can go catch the replay later on. Not right now, because we want you here right now. But you can go catch that later on. Um, but for basic housekeeping, we will have a chat and win in a few minutes. You know the drill. Um, send us some emojis, talk to your friends in the chat, and you might win some sticker mule stickers coming up. So that's always exciting. So make sure you're here for that. And then later on, we are gonna be reviewing some Illustrator Daily Creative Challenges. Today, you guys are making cover letters, <laughs> which is nice because we have an educator here with us who can give you the best feedback possible. So you're making <laughs> cover letters with um, personalized type faces um, using Adobe font so it should be pretty good. I'm yeah. excited for that. Awesome. So make sure you submit those at the challenge tab at the top of the screen. You know the drill and yeah. Awesome. Maybe we can do like another intro just in case we have some newbies with us today and then we'll get into it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I'm really excited because I can see my dog is chatting in the forum. Your dog? Oh my Archie god. Archie Daly, he's asking about sandwiches. Archie, the yeah. famous Archie. <laughs> How's it going? Um, okay, well yesterday we did um, some illustration making and we worked on the cover for the psychedelic zine. And just so that we can remember what that looked like, um, I'll show you the files. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting rid of our green screen. <laughs> we brought some things from the future. We needed to get rid of it. <laughs> so we worked on this yesterday. So it was like flower making, uh, shape building, all of that fun stuff. Uh, we've got our palette, we've got our masthead. And then today we're going to bring this in plus the other illustration assets that we've made. So we made some flowers. Um, we made some an, an eye. I've also, and the hand we saw yes. yesterday. Um, record time. Yes, record time, <laughs> just like in the buzzer. And then I've got a few other little elements that hopefully you can see how they're made just from yesterday's lesson and um, where they sort of belong and where they came from because of the proofreading stage. So yeah, that's what we're gonna get started with today. Sweet. Okay, cool. Well, here everyone is. How's <laughs> We're worried. We didn't see you all. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Yes, we are creative wizards. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hi, Lauren and Illamai and Emily. I know them all. We've got some past students in there as well. Sweet. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to start just with InDesign today um, yes. and get straight into that editorial. So come on in to start a new document. Wait for her to load. Uh, okay, so I know it's print, so that's uh, going to the print tab. I also want it to be letter, so I'm just gonna go with that preset. Uh, over here I've got my options, and I'm gonna go with facing pages, just because we've got a booklet and I'm gonna be working in spreads. I know that it's a 16 page booklet because I've already planned out how long it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And I could put some columns in here, but I'm gonna wait until the document's open to apply them to the master page. Uh, but I will put some bleed on, because I know I'm gonna have some pages that have, you know, the ink go right to the edge. So pop that in and go create. Cool. 
Let's make that full screen for us. <laughs> Archie's asking for psychedelic cheese. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so excited to have you, Archie. <laughs> yeah, he's the number one designer. <laughs> uh, OK, so we have our 16 pages here in Facing Pages. At this point, I'm going to go to Master Pages. OK, and that's just, you know, the master of all the others. So what you apply to this goes down to your regular pages. And I'm going to put in some uh, margins. Okay. I do want some bigger margins for this one because I, you know, I want to put some page furniture in a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to account for that by putting in 20 mil. Ooh. Come back. Come back. <laughs> All right. And columns. I'm going to go with six for now and see where we get. Oh, I don't have both pages selected. Again, we'll go to 20, six columns, and maybe just a little bit bigger gutters. Yep. Something like that to start with, and later on I can change that at any time. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go OK, and just check that it's being applied everywhere that I need it to. Perfect. Perfect. Hey Kelly, welcome back. That oh. was our winner yesterday. Yay. <laughs> Show us the process, or the progress on your stickers. Oh yeah, I want yeah. I want one. I do too. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna just get my actual content. So I've got my copy. And so where are you getting all of this copy? Are you doing it on your own? Or? No, so this is one from the all, actually, let's do that bit of crediting again today. Uh, so this article Ooh, was one from allthatsinteresting.com. Okay. Um, Marco Magritov. I read a bunch of articles because I'm not planning on selling this. Mm -hmm. It's more just, you know, a conceptual piece mm -hmm. um, that, that I can just sort of work with most content. But definitely if I was going, planning to produce this, I would um, maybe commission. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so this is my text edit document. Wow, that looks super Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> uh, um, I mean, I think it might be a design, cool design all its own. All right, maybe I'll just zoom in. Uh, in this document here, it's just the raw content. I've gone across and um, written, you know, this is for cover, this is credits, uh, page furniture, just so that I know what's going on, because you could get lost in all of your content. Yes. Yeah. So I'll just start bringing in a little bit by little bit. You could import all at once. Uh, but as I've only got 16 pages, I can kind of take that liberty. Mm -hmm. And immediately, I'm really not trying to style anything, just getting that content in. And I am actually only really going to get the first, maybe three spreads in and then okay. stop. And then I'm gonna do some uh, style tiling. Do you use a layout when you're, or not a layout, do you use a template for laying out the text that you kind of just run with for most, most thing, most, most things? Um, not really. I th actually, one of the biggest decisions that I make early on in a piece is whether I want it to have an even number of columns or an odd number of columns. Oh, okay. Um, they just, they work very differently. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think for this one I wanted even, but yeah. I, I don't really have a template. I think it's a new new starting point in most jobs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Archie says more drop shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's a little heavy handed in his design, <laughs> I think. That's okay. <laughs> we love it. We accept everything. <laughs> Uh, it's great he could be here. I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, when are you coming home? <laughs> uh, okay, so I've got the first three spreads popped in, really just plonked on. No, no, nothing particularly done with them. Um, and I can see with this, there's a lot of content going on, especially on this spread. Mm -hmm. uh, thankfully, it's too bite-sized chunk, so I've got two subtitles going on, so I might uh, just select one side and separate it out. All right, 
Alright. So very early on in any uh, editorial, I do some uh, ty style tiling. Which style is great. tiling. I like all of these interior references. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, kind, of, it's a, kind of a hard one to say. Um, it's normally something that you do in digital, but you can apply it to editorial and typesetting mm -hmm. as well, where uh, you grab one chunk of content that you think is going to be repeated. So this one here is absolutely a good, you know, good sized chunk and uh, relatively even for each spread. And you style it a couple of different ways just to test the waters with your type styling. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to start with this one. And the default font that comes in is, off, is at 12 and it's uh, a Minion Pro Serif. So I'm going to bring it down to a 10, which is more likely to be the body copy size. Mm -hmm. I'm going to isolate, isolate out my quote, remove those tags that I've got to help me. Okay, and then command option T paragraph, I'm going to turn off hyphenation. And for this type setting, we're not going to use justification, though that's something that a lot of editorials do use. We're going to, because it's small enough and we can affect the lines, I'm going to mm -hmm. do it, yeah, just left aligned. So Love it. Let's put in a couple of columns, lock it in place. All right, let's zoom in. Looks good. <laughs> I mean, it's very raw, but at least you know, you know what's sort of happening. Yes. Um, so there's something that you can look at, which is fonts in use. And I'm going to put in 60s. And it gives uh, options. Oh, maybe we'll go to the other one, 60s and 70s gives options of different types of fonts that we used in that time. Um, I've previously gone into this. Oh, there we go. And uh, you can see there's Baskerville, Accidents Grotesque. Nice. This is a cool one. I've never been on this website. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, Cooper Black, that is just nice. the coolest thing ever. Uh, lots of different, you know, fonts there. So if you're ever, like, referencing a time period, uh, go to this site and it'll give you a good idea of what you can do. This is good. <laughs> so I'm going to go, um, because it's starting with a serif, maybe we just stay in that headspace and yeah. try a serif out. So I'm going to go with Baskerville. Regular. Hmm. Yeah, it's nice. I maybe. Like yeah, it's nice. And then we'll maybe make this a bit bigger, try a semi bold, something like that. Mm. Um, right now, all of my type is running into one, and it's because I haven't actually set up my space afters. So let's get that going. So space after, so that you can see the bite-sized chunks. And you're setting that at four. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't think I have a golden number at all. Yeah, I never <laughs> know, like, is there a standard number? And I don't know. I haven't come to that conclusion yet. No. I always play with it. Yeah. The I've, 4 looks good. It doesn't yeah. look like too much space. I mean, it could be like 3.5. You know, yeah. you could get really into it, I think. Um, I mean, in terms of uh, like the letting between the lines, mm -hmm. uh, definitely plus 2. Yeah, yeah. that's our, my healthy range. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, OK, so we've got this. And let's say that this is my pullout uh, quote, so something that I think is important and want to bring more attention to, I can try a semi-bold, something like okay. that. And then having a look at my quote, this is definitely maybe the uh, safe option where I'm just staying all within one family, mm -hmm. but it's definitely sometimes a really beautiful move. Maybe this will stay smaller. We'll give it some more space. Oops. Oh, I really don't like when one letter words are at the end. I know. <laughs> it is such a... <laughs> and get my alignments. I don't know. I feel like this needs some more gravitas. Ooh. Maybe oh, too much. Oh. There, yeah. Yep. Something like this. OK. 
turn it up a little bit. Um, okay, so we've got like one sort of styling going on. Maybe we could look at adding additional lines to give it some structure. Maybe one big line, actually, so it connects to the quote. So we've got one sort Lovely. of style. So that's just the plan, and I know that the rags are looking uh, wild. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not the point of this right now. Right now, we're just looking at you know the styling on its uh, you know on its own, and then we'll look at uh, cleaning her up a little bit. Okay, so I've done one. I'm going to duplicate that, and it gets easier every time because you've already done most of the hard work. Uh, one of the other fonts that we saw, and oh, actually, if we remember from the ticket. Oh. So let's have a look at that. I don't remember what the font was for the ticket. Yeah. Oop. Did we cover that yesterday? Yeah, so this ticket here, uh, well, maybe not the ticket, but definitely up mm -hmm. here, was uh, Accidents Grotesque. Yes. yes. Yeah, which is uh, what we also saw in Fonts in Use just before. So that's a really good indicator that we should try that font for sure. Yeah. So I'll escape out of there. So. Accident grotesque, and we might put it in a light. Uh, you can instantly see, or hopefully you can instantly see, that accidents grotesque appears to have a bigger x height, so it's a, it appears a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be easier to read because of that, and it also means that maybe I can make it a slightly smaller size than I have the Baskerville. So let's look at a, maybe a 9.5. Don't want to go too low, though. Just make sure I got all of it. And we'll put that in there, too. So if we're going to change the styling a little bit on this one, so maybe, actually, when I reference that, they've got a real mix between condensed fonts and non-condensed fonts, regular, going mm -hmm. on in here. So maybe this is what we can try for the second style tile. Yeah. I like that variation. Yeah, it's interesting, and you don't see it so often. So let's go with some bold condensed. Woo. Mm. <laughs> Doing some stuff. So satisfying. Let's maybe make it caps, because we've used caps in the uh, masthead. We'll make it smaller. Oh, I lost my L. <laughs> and then for this one, maybe a little bit less because we want the uh, quote to be the most standout thing. Mm -hmm. But like, let's give it some maybe super. <laughs> super. <laughs> Looking at the type makes me realize I need better glasses. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, do we need to jump in more? I know. We have to Maybe take care of ourselves I, <laughs> in our eyes. <laughs> oh, I feel that a lot. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. ever get, do you get fatigue when you work on your laptop? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, yeah, I get into vortexes where I work yeah. for just silly amounts of time. Yeah, do you mainly just work off of a laptop or do you have a setup? Uh, I have an iMac and I have a laptop. Okay, but that's helpful. if I can be on the iMac, it's, I know I'm doing a better job for myself because at least I'm sitting up properly. Yes. I'm at a desk. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of your eyes, people. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so much so. Put a bold in there. Cool, and then what could we do in terms of styling? So because we've got lines as part of our visual language already. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep trying to bring this in. Um, I'm going to use a paragraph rule to put a line above it, uh, which we affectionately call the jar rule, um, <laughs> because its shortcut is command option J. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the jar rule. The jar rule. <laughs> it's a way to learn your uh, shortcuts. So uh, put it on. The jar rule always starts a little bit funky with where it's um, it sit, set the baseline. Mm -hmm. So you just have to offset that. So you can see I have a lot of control, really. 
Uh, at this point, I could try something more funky and put like a wave in because we've oh. got waves in ours. I like that. You wanna, yeah, all right. Spice let's, it up a little bit. Yeah, let's try a little wavy <laughs> and noodle. A noodle. <laughs> and I can choose where I put this. Okay. So uh, maybe just over the text as opposed to the whole column. Yeah, I like that. Cool. And then go like this. This feels still a little big. big. Might need to optically adjust the alignments. Bring this up a bit. Diego has a question for you. Yes. He wants to know the the difference between character and paragraph styles, and can oh. you show it in practice? <gasps> I I can actually. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> We're ready for you, Diego. My gosh, <laughs> what a challenge! Actually, I'm going to once we style this, I'm going to create paragraph styles right. from this. Um, and then maybe I can show just at that point okay. exactly what the difference is, because uh, it's subtle but really important. So yes. that's an amazing question, Diego. All right, so I've got sort of two styles going on. Oh, I love the little noodle. <laughs> <laughs> He's fun. Uh, okay, let's do a third one. Let's go down. that into place. Uh, now when we were on that site, uh, Cooper Black, because it's yep. just so fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it also really embodies a bit of the Woodstock thing. So. It does, it really does. Yeah, and um, it's good because the first two I've kept within the font family. Okay. And I want to see whether I can get a matching font, so you've got to try and find a love match. Do you live by that rule of three for fonts? Oh. I know. It's, <laughs> I feel like it's such a controversial thing. I get thing. it. I definitely like, get it. And I think that if you have a really long form document, mm -hmm. uh, keeping it simple really helps. Today, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're bending the rules. Yeah. As um, you see, we, we appeared out of nowhere, so. Definitely. <laughs> Doing things a little bit off balance. Yeah, <laughs> it's I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and then what could I do with this one? So I might take the wiggle off this guy and go with a Cooper, but Cooper italic. Ooh, Ooh let's make her a little fun. smaller. So like bubbly. Yeah, it's got a good energy. Mm -hmm. And we'll make this a little smaller. Um, maybe we'll add the jar rule to this guy. Nice. So we'll go up. And maybe just over the type itself. Something like that. It's a nice little graphic element. And you're keeping the name, the the font before. Yeah, yeah I think I like so. It. I, I think in the end I will need a condensed. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a last page. The last spread of this entire document is going to be a set list. Oh, yay! Oh, of like over the four days, mm -hmm. and um, it's hundreds and hundreds. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of want to just make sure um, I can reference like the back of an album cover, you yeah. know how this condensed and really lined yeah, up? Yeah, it's really, really uniformed. Oh. So we'll maybe make it lighter. Yeah. Okay, and then, I mean, I like keeping it. things simple. And then for this one to just like add some flair. Oh, actually, I think. Come on, B. You guys have column rules now, which is something new to me, where you can put like a rule in between mm -hmm. the columns. So cool. I'm not sure if it's possible, but I want the sort of lines on the other side as well. I don't know if the crowd knows uh, how. On the like on the outside where yeah. the bleed is. Uh -uh, I've never tried that. I mean. I'll apply this, and then maybe I'll have to manually do the other ones. Maybe. But that's fine. Oh my goodness, where is the time gone? <gasps> we have a little less than five minutes for chat and win. Okay. So, guys, stay tuned, stay ready. Have your fingers on the keyboard or phone or whatever you are <laughs> streaming this on. And, you know, we are going to be giving away stickers, so stay tuned for that. Yay. Now we're... Ooh. Yeah, I, I mean, actually, I think I maybe need a little bit more gutter space. It's a bit crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little tiny bit. Yeah. So that's all right. So we'll just put some more space in. 
definitely pushing that grid, but mm -hmm. if we go with this one, I'll fix out the gutters. Yeah. So sort of something like this looks pretty good. You can see that. So, I mean, I think personally, this one's a little bit fun. I like this one. <laughs> this one might be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so like what we've done here is just through experimentation, we've tried three very, you know, viable options and okay. none of these require too much, you know, maintenance to get going. So especially if you're working on a document that's beyond 20 pages, any of these would be pretty okay. Yeah. Um, cool, so I might. I'm still a sucker for the squiggly Oh, bow. it's I good, little... right? What if I promise I'll bring it in a lot more of my graphic elements? Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll settle. <laughs> 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 Aren't you said what? What type are you? <laughs> oh gosh, that is the worst question hey, the designers get. Yet? I know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I think my brand fonts are Baskerville and Gilroy, mm. so I think they're definitely representative of me in some way. I'm definitely a sans serif. I just don't know which yeah. one. <laughs> That would be a fun um, conversation in the chat. What fonts are you all? And why. Yes, and why. <laughs> Just a brief description. Oh, Archie's is curls. Oh, that's cute. I uh, like it. That suits him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you already have some points of view. <laughs> Eric says the third option is looking third really option. good. I think. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, I mean, at home or with my students, I would definitely say save all of this. This is all excellent mm -hmm. stuff, but um, I think I'm just going to delete the two that we created here. Okay. And only keep the one that I'm moving forward with. Three is the winner. Three is the winner. Nice. So we'll go up. Wing digs. That's such a cool name. I don't even know what that font Wing is. Wing digs. Oh, Wingdings. it's a glyph font. What? Uh, it's really cool. <laughs> it's got smiley faces and little telephones in it. Oh, <laughs> what? See, I need to be more creative. <laughs> Can't just be a sans serif. Oh, how fun. Okay, that's a good choice. Did I you want like me to it. Bring that one up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Wing dings. Wing ding. It's just a fun, <laughs> that's the font right there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the wings. It's a symbol font, which is really, really helpful. Those are fun. Um, I've definitely used a lot of these sort of symbols, mm -hmm. the contact symbols. Yep, the book. I've even used the book before. And it's apparently a food. Wing ding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have just about a minute until chat and ah, win. You that's should sing, awesome. <laughs> you should send some wing dings in, in the chat. I think it's like, Kind of like emojis, the yeah. OG emojis. It is the OG. <laughs> okay, so I'll just uh, sort this into place a little bit before mm -hmm. we go onto that 45 second countdown. I think maybe make that this a little bit bigger. Bow, bow, bow. Centage is, I'm a universe because Helvetica is too mainstream. <laughs> Fair enough. But we all still love Helvetica, even though it's just, you know. Oh, it's a Mainstream good one. is okay, sometimes. Definitely. <laughs> Unless it's music, and then I'm, I might have to judge you. <gasps> but you're a musician, so I know, you have... but... <laughs> you know, everyone has their things. Oh, yeah. They're, like, picky about. Cuisine OT. Mm. Oh, wait, OT one. Pro. I've never heard of that one either. Amazing. I'm going to have to check that one out. Shillington. That just sounds Shillington. fun. <laughs> oh, it's time. All right, it's chat and win time. Send us some emojis or send us your font types and we'll be back with a winner. Zafting back. I'm excited to see the rest of these font names. <laughs> what did everyone say their font was? I just had a buffalo wing dip for lunch. <laughs> Comic Sans, I love Comic hey, Sans. Hey, respect to that font. Yeah, totally. We got Futura. Sydney's Brandon Grotesque. Nice. 
<laughs> this is the mochi. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Oh, it's that so a, cute. It's like a little owl. It looks like an owl, but then it also looks like a rolling pin. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How did you do that? Come back, Burko. Oh. Classy like Helvetica. <laughs> <laughs> Din, That's Ariel. Oh my gosh! There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the winner gonna be? Oh, Katarina. <laughs> Katarina. Congratulations! You have won some Sticker Mill stickers. They're three by three, and you can apply any design you've created or will create in the future and make some really cool stickers out of it. So congrats. Yay! Yes, and everyone's a winner here on Adobe Live, so make sure you use this code stickermule.com slash adobelive20, and you'll get some cool stickers as well. So. Thanks yeah. for playing. <laughs> I loved all of these um, font names or, or font types you guys have put in. <laughs> uh, lots of new ones that I've never heard of. Mexa Noir Bold. That's just like a pretty, just a pretty name in general. Like that should be a drink. I know that font. It's a beautiful one. It's got mm. all these flat curves mixed with curves. Mm. Yeah. Curves and curves. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Uh, a friend of mine <laughs> developed it. Oh, very cool. <laughs> oh, man. All right. OK. Um, so I'm going to just, so I've, I've picked the one that I'm going to work with. Um, but of course, I made my gutters really big so I could okay. work those lines in. So I now need to readjust my grid. So I've just got my masters highlighted, and I'm going to go layout, margin and columns, and just make those gutters a little bit bigger until it sort of matches what I've done. Mm -hmm. Well, sort of as close as you can get it. So something like that, and then lock everything into place. <laughs> Katarina couldn't believe it. She said, oh, really? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes, you are the winner. <laughs> OK. Actually, I might need to make this a little bit taller. Like that. Uh, so now it's really tempting at this stage to try and get rid of your, you know, rags and awkward line breaks. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would suggest not to do it right now. OK, <laughs> and why? Um, just because you can set up styles, send that version one off to your client or, or your art director, and then they say, oh, actually, I need the font you know, bigger or smaller or a different font. Mm. And you've spent all that time fixing up all of those rags and, and putting in some hard work to finesse but you need to wait until you're very close to sign off to do that. That is a good call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's to stop double handling as yeah. much as possible. Especially when you're working with layout and there's a lot of content involved. You want to work smart yes. and just save yourself some time. Definitely. Mm -hmm. OK, so I've sort of got what I need. So the, the method for this is um, style, capture, apply for paragraph uh, styles. Okay. So we have styled, and now I need to capture. So let's get my styles out. And then hopefully at this point I can explain the paragraph and characters again for Diego. OK, let's zoom on in. Actually, we'll work, look in preview so it's just a bit easier to see. So I'm going to put my cursor in just the first paragraph for the, oh, actually, let's start with the body copy. That's mm -hmm. a good one to start with. When you come in, initially, you are already set to basic paragraph. And basic paragraph is that Minion Pro 12 point, mm -hmm. you know, it's what automatically happens. But what I want it to be is this. So for this one, I'm going to go to my options and ask it to redefine style so that the basic paragraph of the whole document is actually my body copy. So redefine, and instantly everything that you put in from Lovely. now on should just be the font that you need it to be. In design magic. <laughs> it is in design magic. So helpful. Yeah, and you know, um, so efficient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, so then the next one I might do is this one here. And I need a new one. So I'm going to go new paragraph style. 
What Paragraph Styles does is it tells you what it's going to record. So it knows that it's Accidents Grotesque Pro, Super, Size 9.5, it's got no hyphenation, and the space after of 3.5. So I'm like, yes, please, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to actually ask it to apply style to selection. Okay. So it's, that style is already applied. So like this. And oh, let's call it bolded paragraph. And go, okay. All right, so now when I toggle between them both, so toggle between uh, my regular basic paragraph and my bolded paragraph, you see the highlight change. Yeah. So you know that it's applied and it's working. Then let's do the subtitle. So new paragraph, subtitle, and it's taken the font, the size, the letting. That's great, and I'm applying style, so just the same thing we did before. Going okay, you can see it's applied. And then lastly, we'll do the quote. And we're off. I love the pull-out quote style. Thank you, yeah. I think um, once we start to apply colors, we can mm -hmm. do something to that. Yeah. To have even a little bit more fun with this. Do you, is your preference to do quotes without quotations and just italicize? Yeah. So people do one or the other or both, and I never know if hmm. there's an appropriate way to do it or if it's just based off of your own preference. Yeah. I mean, throughout this content, uh, content, there were some that are definitely with quotation marks and yeah. some that didn't. This one didn't. Is that grammatically correct? Maybe it needs okay. some. Maybe. I'm, I'm into that. I've just always been curious because I've always been like, do I just, do I do both? Do I just do one? Who knows? I want to make this a little bit smaller then. So then I have just actually affected my paragraph style. Made oh it a no! Bit, but that's okay. <laughs> that's my paragraph Don't style's rock. <laughs> uh, so I've got a little bit of a plus now because it's like, hey, you changed the paragraph style a little bit. I love how it tells you that too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you did something. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and <laughs> redo it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a little warning. And sometimes yeah. that's fine. It might just be that you've lettered something out, mm -hmm. a touch, and that should be how it is. But with this, what I'm going to do is just, have I got it selected? Can I redefine style? OK, so now that style is the size that I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there was a little lag there on a shadow. So now it's just slightly smaller. Nice. nice. Okay, so now that that's set, what should happen is that we have, actually this is, the, let me just check I've got the right content. I'm on the wrong spread. Let's go down. Pop this in place properly. I need to just extend it a touch. There we go. Okay, so then we're going to look at this. And the trick of uh, paragraph styles is that it should just happen very, very quickly for us. So once I get it locked into the actual grid, my handy guides are telling me what height it needs to go. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's just check. It was nine. Let's remove my little tags. And so this is a subtitle, and I click it once, and then it happens for me. Amazing. <laughs> and then uh, I think it's this paragraph that I want to bring out. So bolded paragraph. There you go. So it's all just sort of working. Oh, I don't have it in the right one. There we go. So that just sort of happened very, very quickly for us. So nice. Yeah. So let's put my column roll in. And we'll put these in the side. 
So this is going to make our life a lot easier. And what's really cool with those lines is that even though my uh, bits of body copy aren't as even, they help to visually even it out a little mm -hmm. bit. But I might just make this one a little bit shorter. <gasps> Look at that widow. <laughs> Scary, but we'll come back to those. Okay, so while I'm working at my style, sometimes I just stay on one spread, so okay. I don't need to go and do all of this everywhere. I just want to find my feet a little bit yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, my mum's here. Oh, oh my gosh, mom. <laughs> and my niece, they're, they're in Australia, so that's amazing. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Hi, the fam whole family. Hi, family. And Archie. <laughs> <laughs> my, yeah, my family and my dog. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. They couldn't figure out the forum yesterday, but they've got it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can have all types of comments. Can't wait. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to Command D, and we're going to place in one of our illustrations. And this spread, uh, maybe you can remember from the thumbnail, uh, involved the piece dove, because it was all about making Woodstock free. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. Ooh, come back. Yes, that's my guy. All right, so I'm going to place it in. And in my thumbnail, actually maybe I should bring up the thumbnail so that you remember it. Ooh. It's this one. Oh. So roughly, we're sort of keeping Ooh. to a general plan. Yes, yeah. and then you have <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's behind him. Yes. Well, the portal idea of that other universe. Oh, that's right. Um, which I really enjoyed from a couple of other references, these good ones, mm -hmm. is what I'm going to try and do. So I'm going to put a bit of a galaxy, like the dove is bringing in the galaxy. I love it. All right. So um, are you going to design that? In, you're going to go back to Illustrator? No. No, you're going to do it in InDesign? It's controversial. <gasps> wow! I know. She's bending the rules. I <laughs> am. <laughs> it, it is. It's, it's done. It, it's been done. It's oh, all yeah. preference. It's all preference. I think there is definitely the right process of doing absolutely every graphic mm -hmm. um, in Illustrator. So my key graphics I definitely do in Illustrator. But if there are simple, yeah. you know, circles, boxes, lines uh, that you can do in InDesign, yeah. I go for it. <laughs> yes, and you can stick within one, one tool, and you'll have to go back and forth. So definitely it makes sense. Uh, okay, so I've got my dove in. I'm going to try and create that swirling effect going off into the galaxy. So let's zoom in. So InDesign obviously has a pen tool as well. Uh, maybe a slightly more rudimentary one, but still good. <laughs> We'll go over. I'm just making sure my bleed is there. And then let's make this kind of want them sort of regular, but also like we learned yesterday with this style, you don't have to be so perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, often I'll go back and fix up my lines, but just get the general shape initially. So let's put that behind. So I don't love that squiggle there. She could have been better. So just fixing with your handlebars. So you're sort of happy. Let's have a look where we're at. Yeah, so oh, it's kind of good. looking okay. You can get totally lost in oh, doing I stuff know. like this. It's so <laughs> it's like tedious but satisfying. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah. So uh, maybe right now it looks like it's a dove polluting the world um, <laughs> with oil. Yeah, yeah, oh, like no. a little bit of a train thing. So I think what we need to do is make it not a dark, uh, just a blob, <laughs> but let's make it the galaxy. So this shape that I've created works like any other image frame or text frame. So I can Command D and 
the star pattern that we made yesterday. Ooh, yes. There's a lot more white dots in there that you can't quite see in the preview. Um, I've just saved a big canvas of it so mm -hmm. that I can use it in InDesign as, as I need to. So I'm going to open, and then I've got my galaxy Excellent. in there. I love it. <laughs> galaxy dove. Yay. So cute. <laughs> I love it. All right. So we're sort of getting somewhere now. Um, I definitely want more color and punch, mm -hmm. <laughs> just because that is the genre. And I talked about uh, the 60s, 70s browns and khakis that are often neglected yep. in today's palettes. So I'm going to bring them back. Bring it back. So let's make a rectangle. My swatches. And all my swatches got automatically imported because Perfect. my Dove had them applied, which mm -hmm. is amazing. So gonna go with the brown. Oopsie, too far in. I think that's my favorite color of the year. Really? I mean, yeah. maybe Pantone need to go for a brown sometime I soon. I know, I think what this year was the blue. Yeah. Like the true blue, what is it called? True blue? No, not true blue. It's like a very... It's somewhere between navy and soft. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> But, but yeah. maybe a safe color. Maybe it's a little safe. Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope they're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to give us some neon I color know, next year, I which know. I will love. <laughs> I mean, we just consider some browns and some neons next year, and we'll, we'll all be happy. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, OK, so now that I've got a color applied, I might look at uh, inversing this. Just so that hierarchically, which is the hard word to say, uh, you can differentiate between, you know, a title mm -hmm. and uh, a pull-out quote. So this is where we're at so far, and it's feeling pretty good. Yeah. The last thing I want to sort of lock into place right now uh, before we move on is page furniture. The page furniture. This is my new favorite word. I mean, there is a real word for it, isn't there? I don't know what it is, but oh, I like gosh. page furniture better. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> so let's, oh, actually, I didn't answer Diego's question, did I? So a paragraph style will affect everything within a paragraph. Mm -hmm. So I've got, you know, you only actually need to click once in an actual paragraph. You don't need to highlight anything. And if you apply it, it'll just automatically happen. But if for some reason uh, I wanted one of my words in my title to be a certain color, like that. Um, because it's within a paragraph, I would need to make this a character style. Mm -hmm. So let's go new character style and go purple highlight. And now even though this has the body copy paragraph style um, on it, you can put purple highlight on just a word and it will just highlight that purple. So it stayed with the actual font itself, but just mm -hmm. brought over the color. So it's whether you're affecting characters individually or full paragraphs, whether you use each one. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I might undo that. And we're gonna do a page furniture and the page furniture I want to do on the master page. Okay, we're here. Let's go get what we need to put in it. Go back to our code. <laughs> Cal code, <laughs> yeah. Uh, page furniture. <laughs> Maybe because it's the white against the black. <laughs> it just feels more intimidating. <laughs> I have never seen dark mode on text edit. <laughs> yeah, neither have I. <laughs> so, so confused earlier, like, what is this? <laughs> uh, okay, so. For page furniture, uh, the way I am uh, describing it, it's information that's going to be omnipresent throughout the entire document. So it's things that we know and interact with all the time. So maybe it's a chapter reference, it's an issue theme, or a page number. That's normally the big ones for it. So I have an issue number and a zine spread, uh, zine series name. And I'm also, just because I want to make sure I'm giving credit, putting the author's name and the issue theme. So I'll put that over there. 
this is another opportunity for me to get that condensed in again, mm -hmm. just so that I have repetition of styles. It's grotesque. Let's go with condensed. Hmm, maybe this one. Like yeah, that. yeah. That looks fun. We don't need it to be particularly bold. With condensed fonts, sometimes uh, tracking it out just a little to help it breathe. And I might sit it off to the side. I'm gonna select this and just with eyedropper. Copy that style. You started a wave, by the way. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is going for the neon. Oh, for Panto? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> We've got two neon green requests. Yeah. Yeah. I was really looking forward to like a chartreuse type color okay. for this year, but maybe next year. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I think. Neon and lime greens were so big, I feel, in like the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. All the tech companies were called things like Lime. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> there were like a couple of companies called Lime. Yeah. Oh, and Lime Wire. Lime Wire. Maybe that's where it all sort of came from. <sighs> RIP Lime Wire. Oh. <laughs> You've given me lots of great music. <laughs> um, okay, so down the bottom, we're going to put our uh, page numbers, of course. So I'm going to go to type, insert, special character, markers, and current page number. Cool. And maybe a jar rule happening here because we've got some jar rules going on. Make sure I can see it. About the text size. It's acting as an underline, but it's just an underline. You can have a lot of uh, control over. Something like that, maybe a little bit less. Point. 0.75 of a millimeter is so tiny, but that's the control we can have. Oops. Okay, and then we're going to copy that across. Boom. Change that alignment to right side. And then just with our aligning tools, getting them locked into place. Okay, so that's Lovely. pretty much our page furniture. Uh, before I leave out of this, actually maybe I'll show the problem before I fix the problem. Uh, you can see here, when I go back, the page furniture on the right hand side is working pretty great. Mm -hmm. uh, the page furniture on the left hand side is not working mm -hmm. particularly well. Uh, and that's because I've got this uh, you know, background color. And if I move it, you can see it's there. So with page furniture, it's a really good idea to put it on its own layer. Okay. Above. That makes sense. Yeah. So I'm going to go to my layers. New layer. I'm going to select all, so you can see everything's highlighted. And you can ask it to just jump layers like that. Cool. And then I will lock it. Oh, I, I hit it, but I will lock it as well. <laughs> Uh, and you can see it is on that layer. And now when I go back, you can see my page number. Love it. <laughs> okay, everyone is talking about this terminal green, and I don't think What's I've seen it. What's terminal green? It, apparently it's a oh, green. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm so distracted because everyone's talking okay. about it. Oh, wow. This this is like, like uh, 90s. Speaking of code. Like 80s, 90s, blew up in your face, green, uh, all the things. Let's bring this back. <laughs> like that I, is that amazing. That is so amazing. I would love to see that back. Someone posted an article from <laughs> Color Story naming that like an editorial font comeback or yeah. story or something. I, I gotta find it. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, knowing that so much publishing is going digital these days, mm -hmm. you can produce those colors now a lot easier. I know. Oh my gosh. You guys are on to something. <laughs> All 
All right, so I think this is our first spread. I've got my page furniture, I've got styling, I've got a bit of a flow working out. So now I'm just gonna maybe jump back to my first spread and get that working. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, matrix, there we go. That's exactly the word uh, I needed. Yeah. Um, Anthony has a question. Yes. Um, do you have unique names for all of your shortcuts and methods <laughs> outside of page furniture? <laughs> Um, Which I'm going to bank forever. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a guide. You should make a fun <laughs> guide and share it. With yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think definitely when when we're teaching in the classroom, any thing that you can get to make a class laugh mm -hmm. so that they can uh, remember the tools. So in adjustment layers in Photoshop, we go like, look to the cookie. <laughs> and it's a black and white it. cookie. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, Another one, for some reason, uh, because it's not an intuitive shortcut mm -hmm. to draw a like a, a square or a rectangle, mm -hmm. it's M, mm. um, and that's a hard one to remember. So okay. we, every time we say it, we go, mmm, mm. rectangle. <laughs> oh, I saw someone put that. Yeah. I just thought they really liked rectangles. I mean, so must have been we one do. Of <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, rectangles are awesome. Yeah, and we, we call ellipses <laughs> lipses so ellipses. because the shortcut is L. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. those are good. I like them. <laughs> yeah, I want that guide. We need to, we need to have that for the next stream. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to start going with um, getting this one all styled up. So using our paragraph styles, of course. So body copies are already sorted, thankfully. So we'll get rid of this. Um, interesting, I do want to do a bit of an intro paragraph to create some interest from the get-go. So I'm going to separate that out, lock my content into place. And I think throughout my aim, um, I'm not really worried about where the content starts horizontally from the top, but I want the base alignment to almost always go to my margin. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I'll just make sure that I get some continuity going. We need some columns. And I know that my gutter is nine. And we'll add a bolded paragraph. This guy's little. <laughs> That's okay. And with this, I'm I'll start with adding my subtitle, but I think I want it to be a little bit bigger and bolder than that, even. Are we in page one? Yes, we've oh, okay. gone back up to the, the spread that's yes. the intro spread. Often the intro spread is a little bit different to everything yeah. else that follows. So I went with one that's slightly more templated and then circled back. I like it. Oh, hey, Lorraine. That's another ex student. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go really big. Put some more space in it. Now I'm so tempted to read this. Over half a million hippies, beatniks, and long hairs <laughs> descend upon upstate New York for the Woodstock Music Festival. <laughs> the world would never be the same. <laughs> so dramatic. I know. <laughs> for a music festival, or deep. <laughs> I love it. It really is. I gotta read this story again, because I just I feel like I know bits and pieces of the history, but it's such a... I mean, it set the tone for all of these music festivals and how popular they are now. Yeah. And it's kind of like a repeat of, <laughs> not a repeat of history, but there's been some similar catastrophes <laughs> lately. Uh, catastrophes? Uh, that, Festival yeah. catastrophes? Yeah, the, what was the one? Um, Urgh, somebody's gonna catch me on, on the chat <laughs> and know exactly what I'm talking about. But the one they did like, two or three documentaries on. <laughs> the the fire, fire, fire Festival. Fire Festival. Oh yeah, my gosh. That's, <laughs> that's like, that was repeating history, so they did not learn from Woodstock. <laughs> I mean, there's more context, but. Yeah, I mean. Man, he, he could have just used this as, you know, <laughs> a guideline for what a bad festival is. <laughs> Definitely, I mean. Well, I, not, you know. In, this one. 
because they made it free, mm-hmm. it made the festival historic because yes. they were just flooded with hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. That one, I feel they were ripping people off for quite yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah. This one at least had some like bright moments. The other one. Uh, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Anthony, I knew you were going to come save me. Yes, the fire festival. <laughs> Archie knew it too. <laughs> He's well versed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so events. in the know. <laughs> All right. So I also have some internal credits just because that's an important thing to do. Yes. And credits are great. People love them. Yeah. We're bringing in that. Uh, Oh, I bought in my page furniture again. <laughs> Get rid of that. Uh, we're just trying to like repeat those styles, so we mm-hmm. don't have too many styles going on. So we've got that condensed and underlined font, and then just our regular body copy. We'll bank that down here. Oh, we're getting something there. Did you make the um, the credits also a paragraph style, or did you just do that one? I haven't. Um, I, th- I definitely know designers that will go in mm-hmm. every single little thing that they do will mm-hmm. have its own paragraph or character style, uh, which I, I definitely respect as a thing to do. Page furniture, I think, is a good idea in case they do a big change. Mm-hmm. But for these individual ones, I haven't. Yeah. yeah, I think it makes sense. Unless you're doing something that has like an insane amount of credits and <laughs> yes. it, it becomes a little crazy, I could see that just being a few paragraph styles. Yeah. What is my little error? Where are you concerned? Okay, we are less than 30 minutes away from design feedback. So let's do a quick refresher before we begin. So (laughs) if you go to Behance and you check the replay, you can see we are on challenge eight and you are designing a cover letter with personalized typefaces. So it kind of helped our little exercise that we did today where we're like, what is your font? Yeah. Maybe that kind of like informs your style. <laughs> so you have a little less than 28 minutes. Submit your stuff so we can give you some feedback. Yeah, definitely. I um, have a professional here. <laughs> she can help you get a job I have, <laughs> or whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, well, I have definite opinions about cover letters. Um, I, I do a fair bit of recruiting and I see a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, there are definite go to things to do and Today some things to is the avoid. Day. <laughs> Today is the day. So submit at the challenge tab above on Behance, and we'll check those out later. Definitely. All right, let's get back into this. Awesome, so we've got our type locked in place. Okay. Um, What we're going to do now is bring in the graphic that we've got for this. So let's have a look what we have. So for this guy, I've even called it long hairs. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) You call this long hairs? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is definitely a very abstract one. The bird is maybe less so, uh, but at least it was representational of an idea, and so is this. So the whole uh, descend down with the long hairs, and also the road in mind. I think this one might be my favorite. Yeah, it's a cool cool little one. It's very cool. And I want to bring in some color again. Okay. So I'm going to mm, rectangle. Mm, What color are we doing this time? (laughs) (laughs) And I mean, I wish I could say a neon just to support the color of the year. (laughs) But my favorite color is definitely pink. So we're going to go with that. That's your favorite, favorite color of all time? Oh, I think it's my favorite to design with. It's uh, so versatile. That is true. Yeah. Um, that and like cobalt blue. Yeah. I like cobalt blue. Yeah. <laughs> I think personally that might be one of my favorites. Yeah, definitely. But pink? I've I've grown to love pink. I don't wear pink. I don't have pink yeah, things. Neither do I. But in design, it's addictive. A mauve is okay. Oh, yeah. You can do like a mauve. A blush. Yes. <laughs> the fancy pinks. 
I like that. Okay, the so pig. then it's nice. now we sort of can toggle between the yes. two. And we've got some like repetition. It feels a bit like a family, but we're trying new things. Mm -hmm. So this is working pretty okay. Did you have the size already in mind? Because I noticed you're not resizing any of the I'm illustrations. I'm not resizing, and I, for very specific reasons. Mm -hmm. um, if I resize this, the stroke weight may appear differently between mm -hmm. the two. So once they're created in Illustrator, I make sure that I size them to a letter size document. Oh, okay. There we go. I love yeah. that. So I'm like, they're they're perfect. Like, did she? <laughs> how did she know? <laughs> Through trial and error, yeah. as always. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm like feeling happy with the flow and that it's sort of working. So maybe we could go to the cover now just to get that out of the way because it's lots of fun, of course. Um, we did design the, the graphics of the cover in Illustrator, but when it comes to type, I really like working in InDesign and I and I avoid, you know, doing mm -hmm. any typesetting in Illustrator. So let's go Command D, my cover. I've got a front cover here. And place Epic. it in. <laughs> and you can see that I've got my page furniture creeping through. <laughs> and that's not what I want. So that's an easy fix. You can see that my A master is applied to my cover, but I want it to be none. So I'm just going to drag it down. Cool, and then it's gone. So lovely. So easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a really good base to start with. And I've avoided putting some stars in this area and I've got some spacing. And it's important that in your initial thumbnails, you are thinking about that content because Wait. It's, uh, yeah, it can be really sad if you create something so locked up and intricate and then you forget that you need content space. Mm -hmm. So planning that from the get-go. Okay, it may be pretty hard, so maybe I'll make this white so we can read it. On the cover, we're gonna have the issue number, which is number one, the name of the mag magazine series with its qualifier, and the title of the article, which is a long one. Now that's a lot of content that I need to get on there. So uh, I think I'm gonna employ the use of that condensed font. Okay. I think it, with the title, it's gonna look really cool. Yeah. Mim, mim, mim. Yeah, it's a lot of like straight lines. Mm -hmm. It looks good in a condensed. So let's go accidents, grotesque. Just regular condensed. Um, let's bring in that caps because I'm also bringing that caps in quite a lot. So we're trying to minimize the amount of styles that we have. Though sometimes rules are for pushing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my hope is to make a bit of like a banner down here, a strip with all of my content. I can immediately see that the margins that I have for this aren't going to work for the cover. And it's okay to have a variant, uh, not within a document, mm -hmm. I would say, but from the cover to the inside spreads. So I might just have my cover selected, layout and margins. Let's make it fit my design a little better, maybe nine. All right, that gives me something better to work with. So I need issue number to be a little bit bigger, so I might put this on two lines. And make her a little bit bigger. With caps, the letting is often a little bit smaller than what you would normally put. Maybe we'll... 14. Okay, so we'll just lock that into place. Good little start. We'll get the name, and this is kind of acting as the, like a mini logo. How did you come up with Mimim again? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. I was just trying to figure out what would make sense for a series. Yeah. Um, 
and I was thinking, should it be all things psychedelic and it's a bunch of different parts of the psychedelic movement, so art and music and people yeah. and stuff, but then decided that it would be more fun to have a series of different genres. And yeah. So I just made it about music, you know, mm. in general. Right. So you could have a CBGB's issue where it's oh, all punk yes. and... <laughs> I want to see this play out. Yeah, I think... I need all of the other issues. Maybe in time, I think <laughs> I can get get them going. Let's make that similar style to this guy. So they're sort of related. Not really worried about mm -hmm. alignment and spacing just yet. I wonder if this needs to go a little bit up. And then lastly <laughs> this one. We've gotten a request for a metal issue. A metal issue? <laughs> <laughs> what, what would be my uh, moment in history for that one? Ooh, give us a moment in history. You should start <laughs> polling for the yeah. next issue. I know I would definitely want to see a funk version. Oh, wow. Um, I don't <laughs> know what moment, because there's so many good ones. I should have thought of this and came back with it. I'll let you know. Yeah, definitely. Funk would be such an interesting any, any one. Any funk to fans in here? What moment in history? Ooh, when Ozzy bites the head of the bat. Such <gasps> a good one. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> so good. <laughs> There's so many good. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, I don't even. A goth aesthetic would be incredible. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. And and that's a total thing right now. Dino asteroid strike. <laughs> when did this happen in relation to, <laughs> and I don't even know which genre to pin it to because it could have happened with any, within any <laughs> scene. And I think the Aussie one is pretty good. I'll, I'll make that one for Sydney. <laughs> I like the banner effect. Um, yeah. Yeah, especially when you don't have like a ton and ton of stuff and you just make it more about the visual appeal. Well, there was so much extra content to put on, but you really didn't want to um, overwhelm it, mm -hmm. especially because there's a lot going on with the actual cover itself. Yeah. So it was a little bit of a quietness yeah. that was required to keep that balance. So something sort of like this is where I would probably end up going. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Right, so we've got, Ooh, we got a jazz issue. Oh, yeah. Mm. What's your moment in music? <laughs> I would love to know. Led Zeppelin and Madison <laughs> Square Garden. That's a good one. There's probably loads of inspiration in that. Just Madison Square Garden alone is just like... Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You can pull so much out of that. Definitely. Uh, oh. Put up my green again. <laughs> Let's get out of that. So we're gonna move on to our third spread and just like keep rolling now that we got a little flow going. So third spread is this one. It's quite a lot of content again. And it's in one section, so we've got a bit of a different game on this one. Okay. Bending some rules again. Yeah. Let's do it. It's, it's easy problem solving, but you know, <laughs> having a quick go at it. So we've got a quote. Subtitle. So let's just start applying my styles. Let's get some columns. See, it kind of takes up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And it's maybe a little bit clunky because I also need to get an illustration in here. And I don't want one page to be so heavy. 
So what we could look at doing is having it flow on to another page. But we'll do the inverse of this. So this will be one column, and this will be three columns, which obviously doesn't work with the size I've got them at, but we'll shift them over. So one column and three columns. That looks cool. Yeah, just a little bit of overflow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Got a highlight. Okay, so we're sort of seeing that work. Yeah. Oh no, look at this guy floating along. <laughs> you do need to. Oh. I haven't put in my right gutters. Let's get that in before I set things in place. Hi, Rio. Good morning. From B Brisbane. Brisbane. That's where I was teaching. Who's that? Hi. Hi, you, Brisbane. <laughs> you know each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I know you, but <laughs> definitely uh, lived there for a little bit of my life. How was it? Warm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a beautiful city. The, actually, the creative industry in Brisbane uh, of designers are some of the most friendly people in the world. Oh, wow. That's good They're to They're really know. inclusive and supportive, uh, especially of graduates. Oh, so I it's love a great that. place to be. You're uh, in a good spot then, Rio. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I remembered to make a paragraph style for this. I didn't. Let's do that. Let's do credit. Oh, that's a really nice compliment. Joseph says you have a very confident design aesthetic. <laughs> it is really lovely to watch. Oh. I love that he described <laughs> you as it's a confident design, design aesthetic. Like, that's <laughs> such a great compliment. I love that's that. amazing to hear. Thank yeah. you so much. Very powerful. I love that. Credit. That's gone white. Ah. So I might even put my background color in now just so that I can see. Ooh. So are you going to lay this in on the right or I me mean on the yeah. left? Yeah. I might I might swap it up just oh, to get okay. some pacing. Nice. Yeah. I dig it. <laughs> What color are we gonna go for this time? Yeah. Purple, I knew it! I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I love that the quote is in white. Yeah, and so we're getting a little bit of mm -hmm. um, consistent repetition going on. And then, oh, all too much white. Go back up. <laughs> and the reason I picked purple, and I, I definitely did it for a particular reason, is because the illustration features a lot of beautiful purple. And this is the one that was down to the wire yesterday. She did it. You did it in like seven minutes or something <laughs> absurd like that. It was literally pretty incredible to watch. Oh, and thank you, you were so calm doing it. <laughs> like other people no. were like. <gasps> I, I feel like when I'm working, I'm, I'm the duck. So it's like yeah. calm, <laughs> calm on the top, but underneath my feet are yeah. <laughs> going. It was quite impressive. Cool, so this one's falling into place pretty mm. quickly. I need to go and get my uh, lines, just to make sure that they're working. I love the proportions on this with the peace sign and the tax. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. There we go. Oh, I don't have my alignment sorted. Let's get that locked in. I might just very quickly get that up to six. All right, so we've got another spread sort of settling in. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it is amazing that once you've got styles, mm -hmm. 
uh, set up, the flow just happens very, very quickly. Yeah. But there is a lot of planning that happens beforehand. It's hard to believe you've done all of this in like, <laughs> really three hours. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. This is, could be tedious work. Yeah, I mean, take a few days. <laughs> definitely. I mean, the preparation for this. So, like, I don't want any people who are new to design to mm -hmm. to feel intimidated by what's going on here, because know that there was definitely preparation at home mm -hmm. and uh, like some planning. But also, it's three hours plus ten years of experience. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to recreate this and it takes you five days, good for you. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, we have a good question. Mm -hmm. um, what advice do you have if someone wants their own workspace studio? That's a good one. I haven't heard this question at all. Yeah, that oh, that is a really good one. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, especially, so like, are we talking about an actual space itself or to start up your own studio? What, what do we think that one means? I think he might be asking about, inquiring about his own workspace and so, maybe how to go about that process and like scouting and how to yeah. think about like financially planning and Definitely. if it's a co-space or... So for me, I actually haven't taken that jump yet um, and I work either from the school or, or from my home but I've definitely looked into it and I think it's a really interesting thing and if you've got um, the finances to support that, I would go for it. A lot of the freelancers I work with um, you know, you can get some bad habits and you mm. stay in your pajamas all day. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, you never can figure out when work stops and, and time off begins because you've got it all in that one space. Yeah. So I think it is a really good thing to do. Um, but maybe even co-working spaces. In yeah. the beginning, before you, like, sign a lease and get something very big. Yeah. They're really great and so, you know, um, yeah. abundant these days. Or even finding someone where you can kind of split a studio with. And yeah. that way, <laughs> you really have to consider prioritizing time because I imagine you both want your own separate time in the studio. And so maybe those are dedicated times for you to be there and you work and mm -hmm. then you can separate that that life from your your personal life. So Definitely. That could be an option. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's also a lot of people who have successfully built their own studios <laughs> at home and yeah, um, and that's that's definitely yeah. something that I do as well. Yeah. <laughs> so um we're in the middle spread. And so I'm gonna try and do something different because it's really fun mm -hmm. when you have that big opening. Oh, and I love that it's the eye, so it yeah. just looks like it's looking at you through the page. Yes, <laughs> so we're gonna have a central so balance. So good. <laughs> the other thing I'm gonna do is uh, start with uh, a black inverse space. Ooh. So everywhere I'm working right now on every page, you can see that there is some form of this portal turning up. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you're on the light side looking in every time. And in the center, I kind of wanted it to be from inside the galaxy, inside yeah. the dark side. I <laughs> love it. Okay, so let's get our copy. Oh, you've got a lot of questions right now. Okay, oh, yeah. we're gonna work. Talk to me. <laughs> Bruno. Um, wants to know if there are any specific, is there a specific time to use justify text? Mm -hmm. And I see that you've used the line to the left most of the zine, mm -hmm. so. Um, I would say in publishing they use justification mm -hmm. a lot. It uh, closes up space because that with justification often they use hyphenation so that mm -hmm. we don't get terrible rivers running through copy. Right. So it's a really smart decision, especially if you're working really tight deadlines. And, just got to get it going. Um, I wouldn't say there's, you know, outside of that publishing world, yeah. um, particular rules. Like, yeah. it's kind of what you want to do. Yeah, what's well, like the most comfortable flow for you, yeah. I think. Um, <laughs> Steve has just a really fun comment. Um, yes. <laughs> you really make InDesign sing and dance, Shanti. Oh. <laughs> I love that. It's so sweet. That's really nice. Oh. It's, it's my favorite program. Oh my gosh. A lot of people who just 
use and design heavily, just love it. And yeah. It's, it's such a beautiful thing to have that type of relationship with. Yeah, I, I mean. Just a tool, essentially. I, I probably spend 80% of my design time in there. <sighs> yeah. So I'm I I'm, mean, that's I'm a pretty intimate relationship. It is. <laughs> yeah, I'm committed. Yes. <laughs> Sydney justified, oh, she's given some good um, context. Justified text is a great way to save space when setting full magazines and newspapers. However, it's very time consuming, yes. Yeah. Because it needs to be crafted very carefully. That's mm -hmm. definitely true. So if hyphenation isn't on and you are doing justified type, yeah. those rivers turn up very, very yes, quickly. Yes, it gets a little messy. And you have to fix them up manually. Yeah. Or you should if you're, mm -hmm. you know, looking after your audience. Okay, so I'm still sticking to my grid, but I'm using it slightly differently. So I'm using different columns. I kind of want to create some even space here. Oh, I love this layout. Thanks. It's so fun. Yeah. Uh, Are we adding stars in there too? Ah! <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay. I might just bump this one up early because I know that it's a little bit of an annoying one. Maybe this one I'll make bold because it's a quote. Oh, wrong one. Bolded paragraph. Make it light. So I'm just sort of trying to even out the lengths somewhere there. Okay. I'm going to force that one down. Let's zoom out so I can sort of see where I'm at. Just sort of getting a visual central sort of thing going on. Actually, I might not do that one. All right, and I'll get my lines. Actually, I can see with this one, I'm gonna have maybe a little bit of issues uh, with my page furniture, because they're black. So I oh, that's right. we'll have to make a new uh, master as well. Make it white. All right, sort of locking into place. And of course, let's let's add some stars, which is going to have some legibility issues. It's okay. But it's okay. We will put some black boxes in there. Do Yay. it for the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so to just solve this, I'm going to put some black just behind in that box. Naomi asks, what are the differences, pros and cons, between InDesign and Photoshop? Wow, this, oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, so InDes I feel like Photoshop is often an asset making uh, yes. program, so uh, you are editing and, and creating things with pixels as well. So it's a lot of um, collage and, and imagery. Mm -hmm. But InDesign is sort of the layout. Um, was it was InDesign versus Photoshop or Illustrator? Yeah, InDesign. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and InDesign is more like the, the layout center. It's where you import things from Photoshop. I love hearing everyone's take when we get asked these questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it must be different to so many people. Yeah, but I think most people are understanding the, the distinguishing differences between the three of them, really. Yeah. <laughs> and how they work together, but have different intentions. Um, oh, just to vocalize what I'm doing right now is I duplicated my master and I'm inverting all of that page furniture to white. And then on my galaxy spread, I'm going to apply 
tapped so that my page furniture turns up and it's actually visible. Awesome. So we've sort of got that middle spread happening. It looks beautiful. <laughs> and it looks like we are right on time wow. <laughs> for some design challenge feedback. So it looks like we have a little bit of a mix between our design challenge today and then our challenge from yesterday, which was, I believe it was the posters. So let's just look at them all. I think someone else is loading one up, so maybe we'll, we'll come back to you. So here's our first one to start with. For challenge seven. This is the postcards like from yesterday. Or, yeah. Or not the postcards, the posters. So sleep on safari. That was like the one that we saw before was yeah. the sleep on safari yeah. one. Yeah. Right? Oh, so maybe this is another the, the brief. The I think I realized last night when we saw the SOS, I think it was the initials of sleep on safari. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> Overnight adventure will be an experience that you will never forget on this ultra exclusive excursion. You will find yourself sleeping in a pride of lions. Oh, that sounds a little frightening. <laughs> Pack of hyenas or even a flamingos flamingos. <laughs> That sounds very adventurous. Yeah, I mean, I saw a coyote for the first time in my life <laughs> yesterday, uh, <laughs> showing you a video. So this whole wildlife thing, it's, it's excellent. Oh my goodness, so what do we think? I, I love the character and the expression on that giraffe. <laughs> I know. I think, yeah, she's gorgeous. Um, I can definitely see that you're adding natural tones mm -hmm. to all of the illustration. I think with this one, you could open up that palette a little bit more. The other thing on that is um, there's something we, we talk about, awkward, awkward touching. And that's when uh, the frames can be a little too close to your type. Mm. So on the sleep on safari that's going down the side, I would open that up so you have a bit of margin, just yep. a bit of breathing room. Yep. Um, and similarly, similarly, with the type, the body copy on that first uh, rectangle, just getting a little bit more padding going on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, other I, than that, it looks great. It's so joyful. I know, I love the expression on the giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> and I love that you're gonna be sleeping with prides of lions. <laughs> Very trusting. <laughs> Okay, let's see where we are. So this is from the Blend Challenge. Whoa. Wow. I don't even know what this is, but it's beautiful. That's wild. It's really cool. And it just feels like the ring inside is like opening up the more that you stare at it. And Maybe it's a flower, it's which brings back yesterday, which yeah. is great. Oh, we did get some flowers. Yay. Yeah. Um, wow, I've, I've actually never seen Blend Tool used to this effect. I think yeah. it's really, really gorgeous. And um, I'm sure your computer was, you know, oh. maybe struggling with something so mm -hmm. complex using that Blend Tool. But uh, yeah, you've done something that, that looks really original and that's so hard to do these days. Oh, so yeah. you should pat yourself on the back. This is very cool. Yeah. I'd actually like to see it with a background color because if you put that dark pink as a background color, it's mm. going to look like it's coming out of, you know, a bit of a vortex and rising. Yeah, that's actually a good call. Yeah, that would be really interesting to see. Yeah. It's right now, just this alone is like really like pulling me <laughs> in, so I can only imagine with the background text how much dimension I'll add to it. Definitely. So cool. It's a very neat, neat experiment. Okay. Oh, coins. So this is from the Gradient Challenge. Nice good focal point there mm -hmm. and national what is that thing national shooting shooting sports okay i'm trying to figure <laughs> out what the so what does the h stand for yeah and there's h in the four leaf clover it it's a sign there's some code in here that we need to know there's definitely <laughs> a symbolic visual language mm -hmm. but i might not be the right person to read it but for the audience it's probably making a lot of sense yeah but like the four leaf clover for me is always um like luck luck yeah mm -hmm. yeah um i think i mean overall the arrangement of it is really central and balanced so i think you've done a really good job there yeah I like the range of work we have today. Oh, road sign. Oh, this might have been right before us, but let's just look at it anyway. <laughs> <So>, nice. <laughs> <laughs> safari challenge ahead. 
Yeah, so, I can see that you're trying to make it blend into its environment mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, because there's such a real, like a, a depth of field fog and the yeah. fuzzies going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuzzies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that when you look at the leaves down the bottom, that's actually fuzzy. So your sign might need just a bit of a Gaussian blur perhaps, mm -hmm. just to make it match your, the area around it. But overall, it, it's looking pretty good. Ah, we've got clarity on the H's. It's 4-H oh, wow. club. 4-H is a youth club. Okay. Very cool. Oh, head, heart, hands, and health. Oh, See, it makes I love sense. that. <laughs> Such a good acronym. Okay, that might be it for today. <laughs> oh my goodness. We didn't get to see any cover letters. That's okay. Oh, the more design safaris. <laughs> They're like, I want to do more designs. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you all for sharing. I think we could, we have some time to, to wrap yeah. things up and do some more fun stuff. Awesome. How much time do we have? Should I try for another spread or should I start cleaning? We have about 20 minutes. All right. Yes. Okay. I think it could be done. <laughs> I'm going to leave me uh, <laughs> rushing at the end as always. No, let's, let's like start the clock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's go for one more spread and then I'll do some cleaning and then show mock ups. Okay, so for this one, I might actually pop in my graphic element first. What are we looking for? Oh, actually, I forgot an element from up here. Just to bring in a couple more yeah, indicators. Love that. My highlights are red, which means I'm in the wrong layer. Uh, just because I changed the uh, page numbers, the mm -hmm. page furniture to white. So let's make sure I'm on the wrong layer, a uh, right layer, and <laughs> lock that one up so that I don't accidentally move um, my page numbers. Okay, so let's just like see that everything's feeling sort of together. Nice. It's looking good. Awesome. <laughs> Going to this next one. Ah, road. Okay. <laughs> so this one might <laughs> seem a little familiar. Just that the road oh, the, to Woodstock. The road to Woodstock. <laughs> With all of the car, minus all of the cars. <laughs> yes, I didn't put them in. Um, and a sun, just because this one talks about the second day dawning. Oh. So what's the what's the the summarized version of that the second dawning? Yeah, so it's I think they just got some sun. It was very muddy, so I don't know whether you guys can see that pull out quote. And it's the forecast for this afternoon is intermittent entertainment between intermittent showers. Mm. So the rain began and then the mud came and then the sun came out. So that's oh, so you focused on the positive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although one would say mud is, is fun and positive, so who knows? I think they made the best of it. There's lots of photos of them sliding in the mud. I know. <laughs> fun mud slides. Okay. Let's look at how much content I have. Some columns in, put the right gutters in. We've got a lot. Oh, I love how, so we're shifting the copy to the top for this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually changing it up a little. I think yeah. you could probably do it in first, but, you know, um, part, one of the best things or the hardest things to do with uh, typesetting and editorial is to, like, create interest. Mm. So you, hopefully, you know, everything feels connected, but then you get some surprises. Yes. Yeah. I love it. First the full spread with the eye, and then yeah. we have this. Cool. And then let's see what our other content is for this one. So we've got a lot on this spread. Okay. Get this 
body copy all my tags out of the way. I'm gonna do a big risk because there's a really cool quote here. Credence Clearwater talking about all of the people they could see. Bump up a little. Oop, too far. Okay, and then just sort of matching it on the other side. We do have a little strange uh, shorter column, but that's okay. In this place, I might actually just increase my leading a touch. So I do sometimes just creep it in, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, enough that uh, it helps what you're doing, but so that people can't obviously see that there's been a change. Right. Yeah. We might bring this guy over as well. Ooh, he needed a lot to get down. <laughs> so you can spend a lot of time adjusting this. Let's get our lines in. <laughs> Looking good. Awesome, and okay. then maybe another background color. And I want to make a really warm spread. So, which color mm. are we gonna go with? Orange. The orange. <laughs> <laughs> For the space um, mm. between the the title or the header and the body. Ooh, I've maybe got one too many. Yes, <gasps> there we go. Oh, nice call. <laughs> Thanks, like guys. something's different. Yeah, <laughs> I may have explained why I was struggling with that little paragraph. Oh, just Eric then. and I were in sync. <laughs> he like Thanks commented right when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay, so the pattern that I have made though is to always include a little hint to the galaxy. So if you're on the light side, you see something in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. So I need to bring that in here. Oh, so is it going to be underneath? Yeah. The roof? Yes. <laughs> I love it. So let's uh, very roughly scout out a shape. And that's okay, because that part's hidden. It is going to be <laughs> hidden. So very, Just very, very rogue. rough. Yep. And then, come on, D, let's get my pattern in there. It's like the road to the universe. Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, that's where we were before. <laughs> we, that's where we were before we came here. So yeah. if you guys want to join us. <laughs> I don't know if you can, but we'll tell you <laughs> what it's like. There we go. And I so now we've got it. another one. Ah, so good. Okay, so <laughs> I might leave it there for creation of actual spreads. Okay. Um, I will publish this work on Behance, like maybe after we're finished, so that you can see the last two spreads in oh. the back cover. Okay. Um, and that'll be on my website as well. But we're going to go up and start cleaning up a little bit which is very, very important to finesse. Uh, so in here, let's just move that away, bring it to the top. Um, you know, when you've got a uh, body copy that's left aligned, you try and make it as even as possible to avoid rags. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't get it as even, I, I like to call it, you know, like a Christmas belly. 
you kind of <laughs> want it to be. Some little flutters. Yeah, like shorter at the top and rounded like a belly. Mm. So I can just start adding some spaces. Some, oh sorry, some kerning, not some spaces. <laughs> oh my gosh. To just start to neaten it up. At this point, I might affect my kerning just a little bit to even out the columns. I'm oh, sorry, my leading. Being it out. Um, I've, rule of thumb, it was like never to go beyond 20 plus or minus or 25 plus mm -hmm. or minus. I know that it depends on every font, so it's whatever you need to do. Um, I'm putting in non-breaking spaces here as well to drop things as I need to. And then maybe this whole guy turned out. Perhaps this can also go a colour just because it's a special intro and I don't want it to look like a quote. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and actually, one thing I did forget. I don't want to, uh, is the author's name. So, Uh-oh, that's yeah, important. let's put that in. <laughs> My gosh. Who is the author? Um, Marco Magritov. There we go. Styling. Oh, my layers aren't helping me, so I'll bring that to the top. And I'll leave that up there because it's a little bit more important than the other credits. Cool, that's like that feeling more good. refined. Yeah. And just those little touches to get those lines um, feeling more uh, even and less rags. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> I can see people saying I'm breaking all the rules, I know. I know, I feel like we've been doing that in a fun way. Yeah. <laughs> Just cleaning up. All right, it's so weird. This is the second time I've looked at the clock and it's exactly seven minutes until... Oh my gosh the time. Seven so minutes. you are now at the seven minute, seven minute mark. Okay. Um, I mean, if there's any last questions anybody wants to ask yeah. while I clean. Any last questions for Shanti? It's been a wonderful two days. Oh. You have quite the fan club here. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so, hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready, We're ready for all of the questions. Yeah, <laughs> and like just in general, thank you for yeah. all the support to everybody who's been watching um, all over the world. We I've really... got lots of beautiful emails last night, oh, and I really so appreciate great. it. Yeah, I feel like it's been such a great. Well, we always have a great crowd here on Adobe Live, but I don't know. These past few days has been <laughs> really good vibes with you all. I liked how we all shared our our fonts that yeah. personally describe us. That was fun. Um, oh, Diego's back. Can you link a Word doc in ID? Do you know? I don't know. I think you... Mm, I don't know if you could, it would link directly from Word, but you can link a PDF, I believe, or something with a URL. That would be interesting. Why would you want to link a Word doc from it? Interested to know what the use case would be. Maybe it would auto update the content if it's changed in the Word doc, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting use case. I'd love to know more about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lena says, please come back soon. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys. It's been fantastic, hasn't it? Isn't she great? <laughs> We need to come see all the. We need all the other issues. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get on those for sure. <laughs> oh no, it's okay if you're late. Hello, and thank you for being here. <laughs> it's always a party. Keep the party going. 
Maria can't, you can import text from a Word doc, yes. Okay, good. And and then does it remain linked though? Uh, that's the that's the key. that's the cliffhanger right now. Hi Sam, Colleen, you can you can I think because the editors can update it and it will auto update. Oh, then you guys might know something I don't know. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. see, this is where I spend most of my time. <laughs> I'm like, where's my sticker? I'm like just feeling my laptop. Cleaning done on two, or maybe do one more. Maybe jump all of these together. We are getting down to the wire. Shanti, you are great. <laughs> Getting down to the wire. Well, okay, well, you can say I'm just sort of cleaning. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll just show you uh, the finished sort of piece at this point. Uh, because mucking up is very, very important. <laughs> and presentation of work is very important. So. I love it. Um, I tried to add some, you know, a uh, plastic wrap to make it look a little bit like it's self-reduced. Mm -hmm. um, that you're gonna sell them at a records fair or something. Uh, yeah, so just um, the cover, playing, and I really love the shadow mock-ups that are coming out recently. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like beautiful things going on with lighting. Mm -hmm. I've actually never seen a mock-up like this. It looks good. Uh, it's a very edited version of a mock-up. It's okay. Yeah, but I mean, I like to customize in, them. Yeah, in the plastic, it looks really great. The the plastic sleeve. Cool, and then we've got the back, mm -hmm. uh, which you guys didn't really get to see the process of that, but I wanted to also land on the eye, and I went even more trippy with ah, it. Ah, I know, it's like, a, it's like a saucer with an <laughs> eye. Ah, yeah. that's so cool. Um, so the great. central spreads. Oh, actually, one of the cool things I thought that could be a feature of this mm -hmm. is, um, you know, you have a poster insert. Ah, oh, <laughs> that is so genius. <laughs> so that, you know, you spend all that time creating something for the cover, yeah. but they can't, you know, shove that cover on a wall or anything. Right. I so, love it. I, that's, that was my first thought, actually, with the cover. It's like, this would be an amazing poster. Yeah, it's very poster-like. Mm. Um, and then the idea on that one is that maybe the set list is on the back of this as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can, like, pop it on, on oh, your wall. I love that. There's our front cover. Oh, sorry, our inside spread. The ones that we've seen. Amazing. <laughs> All of this in three hours. Uh, yeah. I ended with uh, Jimi Hendrix guitar. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love uh, that. Yeah. That's a good one. And just bringing in the flowers mm -hmm. as well. The guitar is beautiful. <laughs> and then this one here is just like the set list. And as you can see, mm -hmm. so many cool things happened. Mm -hmm. um, did you use that condensed for the, the artist name? I did. Or I used it okay, for everything because yeah. it was hundreds and hundreds of lists yeah. that I thought um, the visual like language that already exists out there for like lyrics mm -hmm. and stuff and back of the albums already existed. Right. So I just worked, uh, was inspired by that. No, it looks good. It looks very clean. Yeah. And that's, that's it. <laughs> oh, it's been such a great two days. You've conquered so much. Oh, thank you guys. Well, thank you all for joining us again. And we are gonna go back to the other universe we came from. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Should we hide under that green screen? Make sure you go back in the chat. You can find all of Shanti's links, her Behance. Um, oh. And if you have any additional questions and we will see you later. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'll publish them really, really soon for you all. All right, signing <laughs> off. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you.